Hey guys, I want to show to you today this little guy. This cute little thing costs $58. And the first thing I want to let you know is that even though it's being marketed as a matte box, technically speaking, it's just a sunshade. Whereas a matte box will actually have filter stages. But that being said, I was actually looking for a company for a while just to make strictly a sunshade with full flags on the top and sides without the filter stages for the matte box because you know, I honestly just, I don't use four by four filters. I don't have a need for that. I'm using mostly smaller lenses. So I was very excited when this came out and it was $58. I wanted to wait a little bit before making this review, just, you know, so opinions simmer down a bit on the internet because I don't know why, but a lot of people seem to just want to attack this thing right when it came out, you know. There's some nicknames, the Fisher Price Matte Box, and you know, just basically people saying don't buy it. But I mean, you know what? I mean, I am not seeing where all that animosity is coming from. No, you can't compare it to a higher end model. It's $58. Let's put that into perspective. Now, for $58, what do you get? Well, you do get side flags, and as you'll see, this is my one big problem with it, that the uh, way of taking them off is not the most awesome. You gotta put a bit of pressure on it to get them off. I don't know how long these clips are gonna last. The plastic is pretty thick. Like this, I don't think is gonna break. I mean, it's pretty strong plastic. This and this are all metal, except for the knobs. Some people were also worried about these plastic knobs breaking, but you know what? I, I don't care. Go to the hardware store and get some wing nuts to replace them. That's, you know, five cents here and there, so not a big deal. Um, they made it height adjustable, which, you know, a lot of other matte boxes in, you know, price ranges a little bit higher than this don't have. So nice that they did that. And one of the reasons actually why I bought this, I said, you know what, I don't even care if the thing completely sucks. This block alone of aluminum, this clamp, other companies will charge $58 or more just for this clamp. So you know what, everything else is icing on the cake. Yes, I bought it because I wanted an actual sunshade slash matte box if you want to keep using that terminology. But yeah, sunshade is the proper terminology. But that aside, um, the major complaints I have with it are the, the way it clips on. Um, they should have made it a little bit bigger. This will only work with about 77 millimeter thread size lenses. Um, I do see there's a little bit of playroom. I could um, scratch out or rather peel out some of this plastic, make it a little bit bigger, but I'm probably not going to because most of my lenses are smaller than that anyways. So not really a huge deal for me, but some people that have bigger lenses, this probably won't work for you. Now, these are all plastic, but you know what? Even though they're flexible, I don't see an issue with that. The rounded edges kind of make it look Fisher Price, like some people were saying, but you know what? It still does look professional, you know, to an extent. You're not gonna put this on any camera that you're using for a really high-end client. But the average person is just gonna see, okay, a piece of film equipment. You know, it, to what looks like to us, like something really simple, maybe even quirky to some people, you know, a lot of clients are just gonna see it as, oh, film equipment. So that's my opinion on that. Some, some others may have other opinions. But um, the biggest problem I actually have with it is I like things to pack down very small. By the way, one little note, on their website, they show these things as being mounted like this with the flat part on the top and the taper part on the bottom. I don't know what they were thinking, but that's just wrong. I'm pretty sure whoever designed it probably didn't have that in mind. But just so you know, the proper way is to have it where that side's up so that you get a nice little upward taper on the upper flag, or the French flag as we call it. So yeah. So you know, it's, it's as you can see, it's really kind of iffy how these things snap on. That one, this, this mechanism here is really my one major problem with this unit. But as it is, hey look, it blocks light coming into the camera lens for $58. You know, I, I, myself, my gaffers I know, and a lot of you out there, I'm sure, have used plenty of other things to try and block a stray bit of light giving you a flare with, you know, tape, you know, uh, duvetine, whatever you have around, like taping it to lens or whatever. $58, you can just slide this on and it'll look more professional than that. So where's the problem? I don't see one, except my biggest problem with this, aside from even those ways clip on, is storability. Since these things don't come off easy, I would prefer that I don't have to ever take them off. Well, I can't exactly fold them in. <laughs> this is as far as they fold in. So I can't do that for folding them. The French flag as well just goes to that. Folding them back is a little better, but still, it's just, 
if this could fold flat against here and these fold flat into there, I'd be totally cool with the way this actually clips on. Um, but as it is, yeah, you gotta take these things off. It's a little bit of a pain. Maybe not a big deal for some people, but that's kind of a big deal for me. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a really simple piece of equipment. One thing I would worry about are these clips. The plastic is pretty thick and pretty sturdy, but you know, how much you know wind this could take. I'm not sure. Well, actually, here, I'll set this up for you and just go like. <laughs> so yeah, obviously that's what you're getting for for $58. That being said, I'm not always in windy conditions, so I'm gonna find plenty of use for this on sets where I just need literally a flag, just literally a flag to get some stray light out of the lens. And you know what, to have something for $58 in my bag, you know, it's a little bit of a pain to put on, versus having to you know, jury rig some tape onto the camera lens or whatever or outside, so. I think it serves a pretty good area of the market. You're not finding anything anywhere close to this price range. And for a lot of us that don't have a need for four by four or four by uh, whatever the other size of four by five square filters, um, this kind of serves a great purpose. What I would really hope they do in the future is make you know maybe a hundred dollar version that just at least makes the whole bit bigger and changes the way these things connect. Everything else is fine. You know this plastic is really nice and strong. And that's all I really need. I don't need an all metal matte box, you know? I don't need that. I just need something that blocks light. So that is my take on that. This is the, uh, I guess the RJ matte box, but really sunshade for $58. And if it suits your needs, oh, by the way, just so you know, um, obviously you can't see any bit of my face. There's no sliver. So yeah, there's no light able to come through this area. They really kind of cut it close. They should have moved it back a little bit, but yeah, no light can get in through there or through the top. So that's not a worry. I do see the tiniest sliver of light. Oh, and one other thing, I think people were mentioning that this is slightly reflective. Um, I haven't seen an issue with it. I haven't used this extensively yet, but even if that's the case, I'll just take some gaff tape and carefully tape it in there, or I'll just spray paint it with a new matte finish. Those things aren't a big deal to me since I DIY a lot of stuff. So, it, you know, if you want something that you literally have to do no work on, then that might be an issue for you. But again, up for you to decide. So. This is Darren Levine from MediaHell.com showing you the RJ matte box, uh, realistically um, sunshade. So, enjoy.